To Edmonton Highlands Norwood, leader of the ND opposition. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, while the government and the Wild Rose debate waste and contracts and so on, there's some serious health issues that are being ignored. This government has ignored the warnings of scientific effort experts who have alerted us to the negative health and environmental effects downriver from Fort McMurray. Doctors have asked for a decade now for full investigation into elevated cancer rates, yet the government has still not bothered to study the risk factors and how they're contributing to cancer rates. To the Premier, will this government commit to a full study of the links between substances released by industry into our environment and the cancer outbreaks in the uh, Honourable uh, Minister? Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> uh, as the Honourable Member, I, I hope, is aware, the uh, Alberta Cancer Registry does conduct very rigorous surveillance of the incidence of cancer across the province, including some very uh, specialized local studies, including Fort Chippewa. And as the Honourable Member knows, the results that were released a few weeks ago did show higher than expected rates of specific types of cancer, namely lung cancer, uh, cervical cancer, and uh, bile duct cancer in that community. But as the Honourable Member should also know, the Chief Medical Officer of Health has laid out uh, a plan which he is hoping to have the opportunity to discuss with the community to address risk factors. Thank you. First supplemental. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, those sorts of uh, statistical analysis uh, does not do anything for the people in Fort Chippewan. It's their health that needs to be studied and the link between their health and pollution caused by industry farther upstream. So will the health minister commit to a clear, comprehensive study of the link between emissions and pollution upstream of Port Chippewan and the clusters of cancers that have been found there. Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I will agree with the Honourable Member in that it is their health, it is the health of the people that live in those communities that we are talking about here today. But where we will disagree, and I think where the Chief Medical Officer made it quite clear, is that there are a number of known risk factors uh, for all three types of cancer that have been identified that are in fact risk factors anywhere in Alberta. Smoking as it relates to lung cancer, lack of access to uh, the human papillomavirus vaccine uh, in the case of cervical cancer, and a number of causes including diabetes and other chronic diseases related to all three types of cancer. Mr. Speaker, the Chief Medical Officer is committed to work with the community to address these risk factors and to discuss... Final supplemental. Mr. Speaker, this government has a long history of attempting to ignore and wish away impacts on our water, on our environment, and on human health as a result of oil sands development. There's a long, long record of that. You do it over and over again, and the minister's doing it again. He's talking about lung cancer. He's talking about smoking. These are clusters particular to this area. People smoke all over the province, Mr. Minister, not just in Fort Chippewan. What's your answer? Well, Mr. Speaker, my answer is the same answer that was given by the Chief Medical Officer when he released the results of this and talked about what we we're going to do. I'm sure, Mr. Speaker, that neither the Honourable Member nor myself would want us presenting, would want us to think that we're presenting ourselves uh, to Albertans as scientific experts. What we do know, Mr. Speaker, is that for all three types of cancer that we're discussing here, there are known risk factors that exist all over the province. Uh, very thankfully, the, uh, the results this year did not indicate any increase in the prevalence of childhood cancer and Mr. Speaker as the Chief Medical Officer has said he's more than willing to sit down and talk to the community about measures that can be